So I would say in most of my classes, there are a maximum of, well apart from giant lectures like Act 10, a maximum of three black people, which is high actually. I'd say there are a maximum of three, and an average of just me. So, I'm doing electrical engineering. And electrical engineering is like, really hard. <laughs> like, that's all I can say about it. <laughs> it's really hard. But I just don't want to ask white people for help. Specifically, if he's white and male, it's like, oh my gosh, like, that's too much. I can't ask him for help because I can't have him thinking that I'm just this dumb black girl, that I don't deserve to be here. I'd much rather go to a TF or a black person or a woman for help, but because I'm doing electrical engineering, I am the only black woman. I am one of like three girls in any of my classes, and so when I do need help, it's about 90% more likely that I'm gonna find a white guy who knows what's going on, who could probably help me. And it's so crippling. It's like, I can't. It's like, I won't. It's like, he's in control. <laughs> I don't know, I think I might have a complex or something, but still, it's a bit much for me. And sometimes, it even prevents me from participating in class. Sometimes I'm like, wow, this is an overwhelmingly white male class. I don't think I'm going to ask for help right now. But they're confused too. They have questions too. And they ask their questions. And then it gets me angry, because I'm like, why do they feel so liberated? Why do they feel liberated enough to ask their questions? Because when they say something dumb, it's OK. But when I say something dumb, it's like, oh. She's black. Mm -hmm. Maybe. It's all in my head, but maybe it's not. Mm -hmm. So for one of my final papers, I wanted to write about Malcolm X. And I wanted to challenge the master narrative of him being this crazy, hateful, radical person. I wanted to talk about self-love and why people mistake that for hating. And why people think that him telling black people to love themselves automatically means hating white people. He did say a lot of things against white people. But I think he was doing that as a means to deconstruct what we as black people have internalized. Like we do hold white people to a pedestal. Even the person who's the most about it, the way that you've been configured on this earth, is to think that white is superior. Mm. And it takes years to deconstruct that. Yeah. And so when I try to write this paper, I just remember my professor saying, well, um, this is really interesting. And then she suggested I write about other people. And I was like, no. <laughs> Thing. 
me and thinking to myself, as much as you think you're going with the current, the current is going against you. Yes. And she literally did not want me to write that paper, right? And it was because she didn't want me to have the experience of writing it, it was because she didn't want to read it, right? Because she didn't have to read something that was going to tell her that he wasn't talking about hating white people. He was talking about black people loving themselves. And she was conflicted of what it meant for me to be writing that as a black woman and for her to be reading it as a white woman. A white woman who thought she was down because she taught the civil rights class. Did I write it? Yeah, I wrote it. Why do I belong here? <laughs> because I got the same letter that everybody else has. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and although someone may try to tell me that this campus isn't mine, or may try to make me feel like this campus isn't mine, <laughs> It is most definitely mine. Yes. Yes. And you know what? Harvard would not even be that serious if we weren't here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think that sometimes people forget to talk about how much people of color add to this institution. Yes. And how much it can do because we are here. Mm. So, even when I have these moments where I'm like, oh, so you trying to come for my life right now. <laughs> okay, okay, so you're trying to minimize my experience. <laughs> you know what? That don't even faze me. Because at the end of the day, I am here because I am meant to be here. Yeah. 